In America, people look and serve their own needs. In America, the Constitution of America that serves biologically earned people, in other words, those who are residents of our community, not at all, those who are naturally born citizens, most of all. A naturally born citizen in America has the right to pursue life, liberty, love, and legacy in the pursuit of happy, or what we call happiness. The pursuit of happiness is everyone's right. Usually in a person's life there are moments of happiness. For a person that has a struggle, a person who has a difficulty, a person who has a special need, those moments of happiness could be few and far between. They could be few and far between because of not psychology, not because of emotionality, not even because of spirituality. They could be few and far between because of the people who are around them, the people that are supposed to not ungown them, but the people who are supposed to be in that situation of involvement to help them to find it. Families are supposed to help every child to find their form of happy. And a man's form of happy, in my case, was when he was sitting at dinner two or three times, thrice, if you will, in my lifetime with the most amazing women that I found to become mine. In life we have those moments of happiness, and after my wife and I were in struggle, I recall having that moment of happiness, probably the greatest moment of happiness I had ever had in my adult life, came when I invited a gal that I knew from my work environment to go out to dinner, to have a little bit of food, a little bit of fun, a little bit of talk, and the love had already begun. What I did was I sat there in that moment of time thinking I've never been more happy in my life and I couldn't believe I was sitting there with the possibility of my future wife because the Lord had already told me about the situation in her life and the Lord had already told me about what was going to happen to my late spouse and the Lord had already told me that this was what he had planned for me. And openly I was ecstatic in my soul so much that I had very little to say because I was just so thrilled to sit there that day hearing the most beautiful voice I had almost ever heard in my life. You see, when we're a child, we learn about that wonderful story of Jack and Jill went up the hill. And openly, when we hear that story, we recognize that it's a little ditty, it's a little poetry, it's a little opportunity for a child to regard that in the future he just might find that child of God who's right for him. A child of God is what some people's name mean, and a beautiful child of God really is never obscene. The liars of America will try to take away the love of a man's life, and the love of a man's life is still the love of a man's life that he expects from the Lord's house to become his wife. When another man interferes, when another man impedes, when another man starts to play games on his rights, that enrages that man to the point that he might start killing again and again because rage does create decisions that create forms of hate, forms of abuse, and forms of not thrill-seeking, but forms of letting loose the rage of a man.